Welcome, y'all. Hello. I'm here to judge your uh, morality and or judgment. Judge our judgments? Ooh. That's a new one. Um, and mine too. Let's go. I'm ready. So, <laughs> am I the asshole for telling my girlfriend I'll keep honoring my best friend's dying wish even if it makes her I'm, uncomfortable? Uh, Tell me what you think right off rip straight <laughs> prejudice great i love it i love almost ruining my reputation right? i love prejudice too crystal it's fine um, this desperately depends on what, what that the wish, wish is? is yeah yeah <laughs> like, all right here we go <clears throat> my late best friend and i knew each other since we were little we were next door neighbors and always played together. We even went to the same kindergarten, primary and middle slash high school together. I mean, this is already setting up to sound like some Japanese anime childhood best friend promise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this so is a Japanese yeah, yeah. best friend Jujutsu Kaisen Zero type beat right Yeah, now. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. One day during our sophomore year, we started talking about how most of our classmates had started dating. We obviously weren't okay with that and decided to get one up on all of them by getting married. Oh, wow. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, oh okay. As a joke, I made her a fake ring and she gave me a, her scrunchie. Oh my God. A few weeks later, a drunk driver hit her. Oh my. She sustained multiple injuries and was in the ICU for two months. The doctor told her family that her survival chances were slim. And the only time I talked to her before she died, she made me a promise to always visit, visit her on our wedding anniversary and to wear her scrunchie during the visit. Four years ago, when I started dating my current girlfriend, I told her about it and asked if she was okay with it. She commented about how sweet and nice the tradition was and told mm. me she was perfectly fine with it. Today was the 10th mm. anniversary and I took the day off. Before my girlfriend went to work, she told me it's time to put this tradition to rest though oh. and move on because oh, it was shit. starting to get pathetic. And oh, I still wear God. a dead girl scrunchie to celebrate a fake marriage we had 10 years ago. Oh. I, I was furious at her comments because she wasn't just a dead girl. She was my best friend and like a sister to me. We grew up and did everything together. I told my mm. girlfriend a long time ago that we never had a sexual or romantic relationship that our wedding was just a joke mm -hmm. it's not like i talk about her or keep her photos around the house or anything similar mm -hmm. the only times i've talked about her to my girlfriend is when i told her if she was okay with the tradition or if she asked me about her okay. when i told her that i'll keep honoring my best friend's dying wish even if it made her uncomfortable she left for work angry at me and hasn't come back home yet okay. so is he the asshole? You know, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think. I don't think he's the asshole. I. How old? How old was they? Uh, was she when she died? Uh, they didn't say ages, but they were in high school together in their sophomore year. So sophomore is they what? Fifteen at, years yeah, old. Fifteen. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and that's then the, it's been ten years, yeah, and so yeah. now they're twenty five. Yeah, but they had like they had like you know childhood formative years. Like I think he's being a really good friend honoring that. Honestly, like it's it's really no different than her just being like I'm I'm respecting or going to visit my my friend's grave or something like that. And she's just pissed, like, oh, you gonna go see your friend? Even yeah. though you know she's yeah. like, <laughs> again, <laughs> your oh my your friend's God. dead again. Come and then she said on, pathetic. Bro. That ooh. yeah. I'm not gonna say it's a red flag, but it's kind of a red flag. Like you knew, you knew what she was getting into, and it's one day out of the year. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. know. That's what I think. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Crystal thoughts. I mean, I, this guy's not the asshole. Like yes. even if it was a fake marriage, that's your best friend, and so it's kind of like, I think you really need to let the fuck go of your childhood best friend's death already. It's really immature. Dude, I think like she, I that's think really she's fucked being up. The and also, if it really did make her uncomfortable, if if this person, if this author is telling the truth and that he gave her the out mm -hmm. to be like, this makes me uncomfortable. In the beginning. Right? Because he could just be saying that's what yeah, yeah, sound true, like true, the true. asshole. Uh, if that it did in fact happen, this is 110% on, on the girl to be yeah. an asshole. Mm -hmm. um, that's, mm -hmm. I have a sneaking suspicion in my intuition that if it was just the death day, she probably wouldn't give a fuck at all. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because it's the wedding day, she's feeling some type of way about it. But again, yeah. uh, it depends on how many years have passed since. It's been 10 years since, and they got together four years later. So they so got they together, together four years six years. Later. Okay. They've been so they've been together years. for six years. And that means at the beginning of the six years, they had this discussion. No, yeah, she has every, she's had every opportunity, like, I think through the first year to to take backsies, I think. To be like, never mind. To take backsies. To take backsies, <laughs> like, I'm done with this. Like, like I I'm actually finished, don't bro. Like it. What is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what adults do. You go, hmm, this isn't for me. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. And there's also like that, that, that promise, that childhood 
fucking promise. Yeah, but even awesome. Like, real. Oh. Yeah, David hit on that. It's a real anime stuff. Yeah, really, I yeah. promise. Childhood best friend I, on their yeah. deathbed says, please just come and visit me yeah, on the day man. of our joke anniversary. Yeah. Damn. What if she's being selfish? That's crazy. <laughs> That's <bro. not> crazy. <laughs> Here's my take. On one end, I am, I'm probably right there with y'all. If, if everything in this post is as it says, I'm like, dude, she had the time to discuss it. They can talk about it. And she can even talk about how it makes him, how it makes her uncomfortable without assaulting the relationship. That's if it's true. written as it's written, I would say uh, not the asshole. However, from doing these, I'm like, I'm a little, I'm a little nervous that maybe not everything was written out as it was said because mm -hmm. it's yeah. just like what a wild response like is it just yeah. jealousy is there something else there that's not being said if anything i think her being her being so mean about it might say something else that's like right between the lines there tends to be a catalyst for those kinds of yeah. things like something was said something happened a piece of information was learned that wasn't previously yeah. learned yeah, yeah you know she was cooking something he was like that's that's not like my best friend used to do it. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Damn. Yo, that's crazy. That's why I always have a scrunchie on my wrist. But yeah, you know, that's, that's wild. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people would have been like, wouldn't have come aggressive at it unless it's out of just jealousy. Yeah. Like, is there, is she waiting for him to ask her for marriage? And she, and this is like a pressure point. Is there a communication oh, there? It could be. I don't could know. Be that. So I. Maybe she want to one up her, you know, just get super dead. Yeah. And then like. That's crazy. Oh, that's dark. That's dark. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't uh, also get hit by a car uh, in retaliation. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no truck coon. No truck coon. No, no truck, truck coon. coon. Yeah, not trying to get easy. I guy. can say almost certainly that there is some kind of unspoken catalyst that he left I out. I agree. Yeah. Whether whether he doesn't know because she never communicated that she's salty that they haven't gotten married yet, or there is an exchange that kind of triggered her upsetness about it that he's leaving out. I feel like it's that like he left something out because he said that he only ever spoke about his friend yeah in that one specific time mm -hmm. and that's it like never again mm -hmm. i'm like yeah. that seems a little that seems a little far-fetched yeah mm -hmm. i don't know man it's like there very could well be something in there but right now i'm a i'm gonna play it i'm gonna play it safe and say not i'm gonna go i'm gonna stick with my gun no, i stick with, with the not so yeah, i stick, with, with, stick with the not for now mm -hmm. Yeah, but we're like, yeah, all of us but are like, mm, it's like, <laughs> we're like, ah, I'm I'll switch over. The post real hard. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, yeah, I'm gonna pick not, but I would like to have a conversation with homeboy. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Or just like the girlfriend and be like, so, hun, yeah. where did the jealousy rage yeah, come yeah, from? Yeah, yeah, where did, yeah, yeah, that? yeah, queen, like, where'd this All go? of the sudden. Yeah, not you where being jealous over from? a dead girl. No, <laughs> that's not, 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 not you not, being not jealous, not you. jealous dead over a dead girl. girl. Nah, I, th yeah, all right, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. <laughs> so I think we all have a similar consensus. Then. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I've been listening to a lot of anime OPs lately on YouTube. I don't know, man. There's something about it that always gets me hyped. But sometimes I want to walk around and have it in and also be able to switch through them quickly so I have them on my Spotify. And it has been great. Even more so because I use my Raycon wireless earbuds to do it. Thank you, Raycon, for sponsoring this video. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever with optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit. These earbuds are so comfortable and they will never budge. Raycon's offer three sound profiles to match what you're listening to plus noise isolation and awareness mode so you can choose to be immersed in sound or to be able to hear your surroundings when you need to i always say this but i be riding around the city with my scooter listening to my anime ops feeling like the main character and it is such a vibe and thankfully my raycons have not fallen out yet uh but it would be very tragic if they did and of course i like to hear my surroundings considering i'm in literal traffic so i do have awareness mode on even though i would be no in isolation, but I don't want to die. Raycons also give you eight hours of playtime and a 32 hour battery life. And when you need to charge, it's super easy because you can even do it wirelessly. And all this is even better because you get the same quality audio as other premium audio brands, but at half the price. But it's no wonder Raycons everyday earbuds have 49,000 five star reviews. So if you want to get yourself some Raycons and to listen to anime OPs outside whenever you want, wirelessly, go to buyraycon.com forward slash Kurt Ritchie today to get 15% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com or slash Kurt Ritchie today to get 15% off your Raycon order. And thank you Raycon for sponsoring this video.